Michael Benter, DC, your natural weight loss or diabetes solution. For today, you'll see a bunch of clouds and sunshine, a high of 49. Alright, here you go, Beginning tomorrow, sunshine, a few clouds, high 51. Likely sunny 56 on Monday, ahead of rain Tuesday, and then cooler weather after that. For AccuWeather, I think the Valley Hey, make sure my uh, news radio is on. My hotspot, please. It's on. Oh, here. Don't connect to this one. Don't connect to this one. Hey, she is back. We're so happy to see her back with her wonderful husband, Chris. They are live on Facebook at Pittsburgh Property Diva. Lauren Klein, over $100 million in sales. Spent a little time in that place that I was many years ago, Palm Beach, for the holiday as in Florida. And there's no for sale sign at Mar a Largo, so I guess no, you, you, you didn't run into the president, did you? I did not run into the president, but the president had the whole whole um, South Ocean Boulevard shut down did for he? a few days. Yes, he did. That's he did okay. take the detour to the mall. Got to have his turkey in private. Okay, right? now, listen, <laughs> lots to get to on the program. She's going to talk about something that her and her husband really are all about, and that's Phipps Conservatory, which is an amazing place here in Pittsburgh. But also, importance of having a good agent and how it's free to talk to her. And let me just tell you this. Anything on your mind in the way of real estate, I highly urge you to call the number that I'm about to give you because the phone lines are wide open. And she loves talking to you, the listeners, on Saturday mornings at 866-391-1020, 866-391-1020. Or you can call her on her cell phone, and it's absolutely free to do that, too. 412 412- 628-8286. Let's begin with Phipps, something festive, and then we'll get into the business of real estate. Go well, ahead. if you're from Pittsburgh, you know Phipps Conservatory is one of those places that you absolutely have to get to at some point. And if you haven't been there, check it out. It's the um, Winter Flower Show and Light Garden at Phipps, and it is amazing. In the daytime, in the nighttime, go anytime you want. Uh, Pittsburgh, beautiful, uh, is hosted by my husband and run by my husband so he's partnered with Phipps for this holiday season so check it out and um, I think you'll really be impressed it's always beautiful he does a great job of what he, he does. does now I want to talk to you about an agent and having a good agent why it means everything it sure does it sure does and I think I think what a lot of people don't understand is that um, talking to a real estate agent meeting with one it doesn't cost anything and commission is negotiable and the main thing to think about is how does this agent connect with you on a personal level hmm. are they hearing what you need hearing what you want what your goals are for this sale and um, you know you're gonna pay commission to any agent so why not pick the best agent that you can get your hands on so don't just take anybody I, I would say you know you would be a good choice but but not all of us live in and around where you do your business right. so what's your advice to someone that says hey look maybe you're at a cocktail party i'm sure it's going to come up over the holidays hey lauren i need a, an agent and i live in i don't know ohio what's the, the the best advice you can give me well call me because i can i can vet a referral for you i can do your back end research and find you the best agent in that particular area to, to connect you okay. so that you don't have to do a whole ton of legwork and I'm I'm about as picky as they come so you know if you can get through me I'm a nice person Rob you know I'm nice but I'm really picky when it comes to business I know that you want, um, you want it to be done right I want it to be done right and if I'm gonna put my name on on a, on a referral recommendation, then I want it to be the right referral recommendation. You know, one of the things, too, and I, I've learned this through the years of being around people in real estate, and you know how much I love it, and I'm always thinking about it, and, you know, it's, for some reason, it gets a little soft this time of year, because people are thinking it other does. things. But I just want to tell people that it's okay to think about selling or looking or buying a house this time of year, because you're going to get the best foot forward of everyone. You sure are. That's a good way to think about it. And if you start, even if you say, well, you know, maybe uh, six months from now, I'd like to sell my house or I'd like to buy a new house or I'd like to buy my first house. Start now. 
get get your foot in the door and and start just thinking about it and talk with somebody who can walk you through the process and and keep it professional and keep it organized for you but more importantly try and make it a little fun let me ask you something too you know something that really frustrates me it, it, it needs a little work okay yeah. listen I work enough, okay? <laughs> right. you, you understand? Yes. When I go home, I want to like plop down, run the sweeper and go get out the pledge and say, I'm done. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And here are the clothes in the washer and I want to sit down and breathe. And relax. What do you tell people when they say, we're willing to get something that needs a little work to it? I mean, do people really understand sometimes a little work can turn into a real pain? Yes. I I, I try to not, gauge... Not that I want a turnkey, but no. pretty close. Well, if you say, I want... You know, you, you have clients who say, I want move-in ready. I do not want to make any improvements. And then you have other people who are very handy. I'm not one of them, okay? I can't I can't do anything. Well, you know what, because by the time you get done after a 12-hour day, right. you, you don't want to think about it. Plus, I'm not else. good at it. And I realize that. I'm just, I'm, I'm simply not good at it. I can tell people what needs to be done, but I'm just not good at doing it myself. I don't even hang a picture because it'll be cockeyed. So, <laughs> listen, unless the camera's rolling, you'll never see me with a hammer. In my That's hand. right. You, <laughs> you know no what I'm way. saying? No way. I know I'm not good at it. But, and then you have other, uh, other people who say, I'm not afraid of a little bit of work. I don't mind redoing a bathroom or refinishing floors or things like that. So, it really depends on how handy you are and how realistic you are about how handy you are. <laughs> well, I, I was actually doing a little handy work around the house the other day. And I caught my face in the mirror as I was passing by one of the rooms, and I went, you know it's over now. You're, you're done. You're finished. Right. You'll never recapture the magic. So just put down the hammer and step away from the toolbox. Yes. All right, listen, we're going to come back, but I urge you, listen, this is a great time of year to buy or sell your home, and I don't think if you're in this area, you're going to find anybody any more dedicated to making that become a reality, whatever side of that uh, sign you're on. Okay, so 412-628-8286. Caller, or you can call us. We're getting some calls right now. Anything on your mind in the way of real estate, she would love to help you. 412 628 8286, and our number is 866 391 1020. We'll be back. Yes, like I looked at that, <coughs> house, looked at that house, Lauren Chris. I ain't paying 99 grand to spend the next six months fixing it up. I mean, it's still It won't even be six months right now.
So before we uh, get to some phone calls here, uh, Lauren Klein is here, her husband Chris, Pittsburgh, beautiful, check that out. You'll see all of the twinkling lights at Phipps, great time of year to go visit that amazing landmark in the great community of Pittsburgh. Boy, there's a lot of exciting things happening in real estate right now, even though this is the end of the year. I think the spring market may be one of the biggest that you have had I think in so. recent years. I totally agree. I cannot wait. We are all really, really excited and gassed up about um, 2018. I think the real estate market is just going to explode. Should somebody be thinking about it now if they're going to? Sure. Like, Our spring market is February, March, April. So that's like 60 days away. Yeah, yeah, and you have time to get yourself ready, uh, get a good consultation in and make those little improvements that I always talk about, being ahead of the, ahead of the problems, uh, overcome those objections right away, and you have plenty of time right now to think about it and get yourself let, ready. Let me ask you this too, you know, we talk about hand money a lot, mm -hmm. and you know, that 10%, that 10%, that 10%, so it's 100,000, you look at $10,000. Let's face it, not everybody, sad to say, has it, but they also realize they're digging a very deep hole when it comes to rent. But then you hear you hear these stories about let the bank help you even with that hand money, put it towards the principal, put it towards the interest. So are you saying that if you don't have it, maybe you should wait until you do have it? No, uh, no. And my rule of thumb typically is one to two percent. Oh, okay. Okay, instead of ten. My dad likes ten. Okay. <laughs> Always wants. To. But you Lauren, know, like, but Lauren, why don't you get ten percent hand money? But you know, in his generation which he's just a tad older than me, they had the money. Yes. Well, people, they people were smarter. saved. They wanted to do 20% down on their conventional mortgage. You don't have to do that. Right now, there are so many different loan programs that um, it, it excites me. It allows everybody the opportunity for the American dream to be a homeowner. So depending on where you live and if you were a veteran, uh, there's a veteran a VA program with 100% financing. I have some VA buyers who get money back at the closing table. So if they put $3,000... And rightfully so, if anybody should get money back, it should be our veterans, right? Yes, I love the Me veterans. Too. Yeah. I absolutely I love working with my veterans. Um, my pap was in the Navy. I have a huge heart for, for my veterans. Um, but... There are USDA programs, and that is geographically determined by the government mm -hmm. where these USDA territories are. You can get 100% financing on those houses, too. Sometimes those people get money back. Um, FHA, they have FHA programs. I think I have one with a 1% down. Three and a half is the standard for uh, FHA, that's the minimum amount you can put down. But as far as your hand money goes, I'm looking for 1% to 2% hand money, um, unless we are in a very uh, competitive situation. And then the more hand money you have, the more serious your offer is, the more the sellers might say, well, you know what, this offer kind of matches up with this offer, but they're putting $10,000 in hand money down instead of 1500 By the way, uh, Lauren Klein, every Saturday, 8 to 9, Pittsburgh Property Diva, Coldwell Bank, out of Murraysville, her direct number. You can call and leave it. Your information right now, she will get back to you once we get off the air. If you have any questions or maybe you're thinking of listing your house, you're looking to buy a house, 412-628-8286. You can call her now here at the station with any real estate question at 866-391-1020. That's 866-391-1020, uh, dollar bank, instant access, kdk.com. Should you also, if somebody's planning ahead and really doing their due diligence, we were talking about it's a fixer-upper. That, 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 that phrase is really starting to get under my skin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, so here's the thing. Should somebody map out how much, like, for essentials, maybe fresh coat of paint, maybe the garage door needs fixed, some shingles need replaced, maybe you include that in what you have on hand as far as 2% towards the mortgage and maybe the other 8% goes to fix things up. Right, Absolutely. Yeah. And it's all it's it's budget driven. So if you don't have enough money to get to the closing table with your down payment, you're not gonna uh, the money for improvements isn't gonna fall out of the sky. No. So you want to be prepared, and you don't want to move into something that needs so much work that you can't even live in it. Well, and people always say, I can do that. I, I, I know how to peel wallpaper. I mean, with all due respect, we all think that. It's kind of like you go in the candy right. store or the bakery. I want four donuts. And you know, in reality, you're only going to be able to eat one. There's only a certain amount of hours in the day. Right. 
and people work, obviously. Right, and they work. Different. And they have children, and they have activities they want to do, and they don't have the time or the expertise. So would you say that if you have it, maybe pay a little bit more to get something you know you're going to be able to get the moving van there and sit down? Yes. To enjoy All your within house. your budget, okay? And, and lifestyle, you know, when I'm meeting with my buyers, I, I, I want to talk about their lifestyle. How busy are they? How much time do they have to put into maintenance? N not even improvements, but just general And let me tell you what else. Let me tell you what else happens, too. That dream home becomes a nightmare. Right. Because they, they, they look and they resent that home because all they do is work, work and, on it. And if you're like we are, type A, you, you go to one room to do something and then you see four other things that you wouldn't have noticed if you weren't in that room working in the first place. Right, and it's a never it's a never ending process that is See, this is why it, you need a real estate agent. Right, and it does frustrate people. So if you're not clear about what what you want to put into a house and what you want that house to give back to you, then you you need help kind of just narrowing it down because that's what I do. And some people will come to me and say I really, I really want a fixer upper. Well, how much money do you have in the bank to make all these improvements? And then, how much time do you have? When do you want? When do you want this done? When do you want to move in? Or can you move in and work on it? And some people are very ambitious and very, very handy. See, I, I've talked to Robert Levin about this too. I have great respect for it. You know, a lot of people will buy this beautiful home, then they go to some discount store and put all this money, which is really nothing, into cheap furniture, uh -huh. that within 10 years they're doing it over, as opposed to going to a Levin's one room at a time, getting the right, getting the heirloom. I still look at furniture as a hand-me-down. As a matter of fact, I have stuff that I bought in the house on it now that I've never even sat on because I want to leave my kids something, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking ahead. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to give them a couple of nice bedroom suits to where they can move in and have nice, beautiful furniture? Nothing says welcome or more warmth than nice furniture. Right. But I see people, and I used to do it myself. I'll just go to the discount store and throw a couple of thousand. I'll just fill the rooms up. Right. You're better to relax and enjoy it and savor that first bedroom suit, that first dining room suit. Right. You don't have to do everything overnight. It doesn't have to be done overnight. In fact, I tell, I tell my clients, you really want to give yourself a good three to six months. That's it. To get... To get in and feel the house and, and let it kind of settle around you. How do you, how else do you want it to feel? It's not going to be, it's not like you see on TV, okay, where people just show up and everything is all perfect and decorated and speck and span. It's just not like that. Well, so I believe you should have it when people show up, there should be an echo. So they know they have to bring a housewarming gift. Right. Boy, you have nothing, nothing, nothing on the walls. Well, you know, it filled the need. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be a wedding registry. It could no. be, be an old guy registry. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Listen, I, I think, and I think people that makes it fun. It, it is, becomes it's an part experience. Part of the fun of buying a house it is making it yours. And you know, we all we talked about painting. Uh, uh you know, a month or two ago, the paint is. One of the cheapest, easiest, don't ask me to paint because I am not good at it, but paint is, is a cheap and easy way to to put your own personality into a house. Um, and like you said, furniture. You know, wait. Wait for the wait for the good stuff. Well, see, wait people, for what you love. What people do, too, is they, they, they don't, you know, their eyes are bigger than their stomach. We'll just rip all this crap. Mm -hmm. And then they go through loving Peter to save Paul to get into the house. Okay, we got our mortgage. Well, we got to get a new carpet because we got family coming over. Well, that's another 10 grand for maybe three rooms. Right. If you, I mean, depending on where you live or how, how expensive you want to get. I just think people should live in their homes and they're better off to pay a little bit more to go into it where it's turnkey because all of the extra work is exhausting. Yes. It, it, I, I am with you on that end. Uh, and, and my investors, well, they're in a different... They're in a different box than my first-time home buyers, not the investors, and my move-up buyers or the people that um, downsize, relocate. Um, everybody has different needs and, and different wants and necessities, and um, it, it's all about the communication and, and really being honest about what you can handle financially first and then you maintenance think people wise. really understand before they talk to a professional what goes into buying a house if they've never bought a house I before. don't think so. I think it's I think it's truly 
overwhelming and most people are frightened of the whole process when it really is, um, I personally think I have a doubt to a science. So it's, it's step by step and I love to show houses. I'm actually meeting a lady today showing her six houses. Um, six houses? Six houses. She's coming from Colorado and I love showing houses. They, and you're not short of energy, that's for sure. Not today, you, I'm not, do, Rob. Do, I rested all week. <laughs> do your feet, like, touch the ground when you go from house to house? All right, listen, the incredible Lauren Klein, her husband Chris Klein, is here. Uh, they are live right now on Facebook, Pittsburgh Property Diva. We're going to come back and get anything you want to talk to her, 866-391-1020, or Dollar Bank Instant Access, kdk.com. And don't forget, you can call her directly, 412-628-8286, 412 412-8286. Uh, 286 at 412 628 8286. Short break, we'll come back. Got the news at the bottom of the hour, and then two more segments with the Pittsburgh Property Diva on your Saturday morning on this Radio 1020 KDK. Good morning. <laughs> We're still rolling in the the audio is still on. Audio is still on. Oh, okay. Because every time I every time I take the audio down, Aaron texts me. And, Can't hear you. And she no no she says, Can you add some of those graphics? And I don't have the graphics. I don't have it. Hi, Aaron. I went back. Can you believe that? I can't. I guess I can't. I guess I can. Because it's real. I can't. So we're Is my hot spot on? Yeah, your hot spot's on. Tell everybody we're in a commercial break, honey. We're, we're in a commercial break, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> it's behind the scenes. Yeah, I'm... My phone isn't showing up here on, on my Wi-Fi. How's your mom and dad? They're great. Good. Yeah. We had such a nice Thanksgiving. I could, yeah. The food was so... Oh, my mother is such a good cook. Oh. Such a good cook. She is. And I passed My out. grandmother, she's 89 years old. She had a hip replacement in August. All she wants to do is go to Burbank, California and be on The Price is Right. Aww. Yeah. She's, she is a riot. And she was hugging me after Thanksgiving dinner and told me that I had a muffin top. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> we, were, yeah, yeah. Listen, we were dying. She's She's got her arms wrapped around me and she's, you know, squeezing me and hugging me. And she stops and she says, honey, you need to, you need to start maybe doing some stretches or something. Oh <laughs> See, I barely get through the day. Oh my goodness, Nanny. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. You need to start doing some some stretches. Oh. Honey, seriously, this I no network's found. What? I have your hotspot on, darling. I know. Call four one two doctors today. Pittsburgh winters can be pretty rough. This winter, get away and save with AAA Travel. Micron's disease looks harder and harder to live with. As my kidneys begin to fail. John chose to travel from Cincinnati. Got, here, I'll double check. I'm telling you, it's not a decline. This was you know who this voiceover is? We both yeah. agree. You know Blythe Danner? Yeah. That's her. She's been doing these for years. She does a great job. It's Gwyneth Paltrow's mother. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was able to dance with my wife. What's on? Hot spot on. Okay. I didn't choose to have Crohn's disease, but I did choose UPMC. I get done doing these shows. I did have one of these diseases. Rob. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm like, don't smoke that cigarette tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Then I'm late for another clock going, this is all I got left. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every week they do a show. Stroke. Right. Heart. Cancer. Bad liver. Yeah, like, bad liver. I go, what? It, uh, you know, I only smoke when I go out. And I, I didn't start smoking until I was like 55. Not, like, I'll go all weekend, but I just enjoy having a cigarette once in a while. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's all I got. I know. I know. How many Americans need to lose their health care or see oh, their premiums shoot sky high before this stops? 
This is political analyst Larry Savage. My guess is Democrats will pummel the Republicans in the same way that Republicans pummeled Democrats for Obamacare. So it's, it's tit for tat, but you have to say in the case of... I look for some day, I think, because the Kennedys had a compound, it sounds like, too. They bombed it. Uh -huh. I think Trump will sell Winter's it approaching temperatures are dipping it eventually they will hit zero is your home not ready only for some far weather. Mar a Lago, wants to keep but the family th warm. That whole yeah, coast south of Boulevard of their triple is, zero I mean, sale. That's We're always like, wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. I know. It's, it's pretty crazy. crazy. Save your well-earned money on the family and this is, do what you want. But right this now, is broken. You're going to get a bonus. How about 50% off it's broken. the style yeah. window from Window Nation? <laughs> and this offer is practically below zero. It is. I'm not kidding it's not, you. It's not, bro zero it's not broken. Zero down, zero payment, zero interest until 2019 plus This is not Here, let me, I'll turn it off and turn it on again. Okay. I'm telling you, you saying no connections are available. Today. Okay. Well, there's a lot of Wi-Fi flying through this place, so. Okay. Hurry, this deal is only good through the end of the month. 86690Nation or visit windownation.com. Tell them Larry says. Aaron says, says get a hammer. <laughs> She's, <laughs> she can hear you. I she heard, she heard. Hey, Aaron, we, we, hi. We, <laughs> broken. Yeah, she's laughing. Broken. It's broken. Broken. Here. There's text from Lauren. Right there, broken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well. Tell her she's got to come with us next week. <laughs> Aaron, you want to come with us next week? We back after the weather? Yes. All right, everybody. We'll be we'll be back live after the weather. If you're still watching. Anything else, Lauren? No, we we'll just keep going on the same trajectory. I think. For AccuWeather, I mean meteorologist Bill Decker on News Radio 1020 KDKA. The following is paid for by Property and here we go. LLC. <sighs> Come on, champ. Keep going. All right, so I was up past midnight because of the Senate tax, you know, reform bill. So I was just thinking about people getting more money, you know, in their paycheck. And wouldn't it be nice if more property, people would buy houses and what have you. So tell me 2017, going into 2018 when this whole tax thing takes effect, what type of homes are people buying traditionally more so than not now? What seems to be more popular? And as we move to that spring market, which I already know you have your antenna up and you're thinking about it, not to say that you're a bug, but you know what I mean. Yeah. You're, you're thinking. <laughs> so what do you see happening as we move into uh, February in the spring market of 2018? And traditionally, what are they buying right now? Uh, I think the single family home, the starter home, will always be... What is a starter home? The starter home is the house that you move into and you plan to be there for five to seven years. Okay? And that's typically what my... What my first time home buyers want in that hundred and fifty thousand dollar price range, you know, it's affordable. They can get their feet wet, learn how to take care of a house, um, maybe have a baby or two, and then they want to move on to their to their, their next. Dream home. Yeah, yeah. And and some people never get get to the dream home. They just like to move, like me. I love to move, but that starter home, I don't think that's ever going to go away. You know, when people get engaged or they get married and uh, they want to buy their first house, and they don't want to break the bank. They just want to move into something that's comfortable, that they can have a baby or a dog. And and listen, in defense of the people that really like to do home improvement, yes, I, I want you to understand. I have a dear friend who was the chairman CEO of a major company, Michael Baker, for years. He's now in his ninth decade. He runs circles around me. He and his lovely bride went through like fourteen homes uh -huh. because to them it was therapy, nailing, fixing, painting. It's a painting. project. So some people do like to do that. Yes. It's just not my cup of tea. Not mine either. No. And, I, and, and, and like I said before, I'm, I'm just not good at but, but, it. What, do but, what you're good at. But what you said, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> do what you're good at. It, it only took me to 60, but I'm working on it. Listen, here's the thing. I think him moving that many times, when, I, when he told me, I was like, are you kidding me? You know, I said, I have a hard time getting up out of bed in the morning. But he loved it. 
But I guess that's almost the norm. Most people will live in four or five houses in their lifetime now. Right? I think so. Now my, now my parents, my dad built our house in 19, I think 75 or so 76. So he actually built the house? He, he built the house. I'm School not, teacher, real estate professional, he, husband, father. Yep. I, I, I like him even less. <laughs> you know, he is, he is, he it's can, amazing. He can figure anything out. But he and my mom bought a piece of property in Monroeville. My dad learned how to build this house and not from manuals. Wow. Yes. So before the computer. Found it no computers. Foundation, block, he he did all the electrical, all the plumbing, everything. Where did he find time to do that, Lord? He did it at night after school, after work and on the weekends and then all summer. Okay? So and we still have this house. We ha I had Thanksgiving dinner there. Um and my mom, mom, if you're listening, <laughs> um, is constantly finding projects for my dad to do, and and God love him, it takes him forever in a day to listen, do anything. That drives listen, her crazy. He had to take the cape to the dry cleaners. Right. Okay, you can only be Superman. Let the guy sit down. Okay, <laughs> sit, like, father. He, he can't sit still, anyways. But um, but he's one of those people that likes to have a project all the time. Um, now my mother not so much, but um, there are people, and I sell houses to people who really do like to do that stuff in their spare time. But the single family, first time home buyer house, the starter home, I don't think that's going anywhere. You know, it's amazing though, one hundred fifty thousand for a starter home. I mean, but in reality, that's pretty much what it is, and it's nothing to spend two seventy five three hundred thousand on a home, and people aren't flinching at that. So I mean, but but to me, that's a good sign. That means the it economy is, a good is going sign. good. And 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 people are smarter about their money. They're savvier about where they want to be, and and you know what they want to do with that house. And I have some people who buy a house and say, you know, I'm going to do my best to pay this off, and then I'm going to use it as a rental property. And, you know, I'll have all the equity and I'll just make money on it, um, you know, and I'll buy another house. So everybody has a different intentions, different plans for their home. But your recommendation would be, and I know a lot of people are saying, well, they just want the sale. They want their commission. No. Listen, you want somebody to be able to affordably live in their house. They don't want That's their house right. controlling them. Never, ever, ever will I say it's probably a good idea for you to go up over your budget and buy a house that, that you can't afford comfortably. Never in a million years. Because that puts stress, especially if it's a marriage, a family, a young family. That just adds enough stress to an already stressful environment. It ruins a really good experience. You can find a great house in in a nice neighborhood that, that works for your budget. Is it going to be perfect? I doubt it. No house is perfect. No house has everything that you want in it unless you build it yourself. And... We we did that. We built a house, and it's still not everything we wanted. Um, so you you have to be realistic. You have to have realistic expectations, and then line those expectations up with your budget so that you make smart decisions. Somebody comes to you looking for new home construction. Mm -hmm. We should focus on this a little bit. What are the five things that are a must that you ask them that if they're looking to build, they should be looking at these five things, even if you can come up with five things, which I'm sure you can. Well, location. Right. Okay. Is there any land available where you want to live? Is that land affordable? Sometimes you buy a lot for $120,000, but you but you have a $500,000 budget or a $600,000 $600, budget for your new construction. You're already $100,000 in with your land. Okay. So then... Um, what what kind of uh, land prep does that piece of property need? Is it covered with trees? Are there utilities available? There's a lot of stuff that goes into new construction, especially a custom build. If you're not moving into a development that's already planned. Um, and then what kind of house do you want? And is your budget aligning with what you can actually afford to buy? and build because building costs are high. Custom building as opposed to cookie cutter, okay? Mm -hmm. If they want a new house, whatever works is okay with you, but they, or should you say, look, if you're gonna get this plan that basically is a plan, mm -hmm. be prepared to look out at your neighbor's house and see your own. Yeah, they. I mean, they vary from, um, you know, 
elevation to elevation. So the front may be the same house, but it might have stone feature or it might have brick feature or a lot of siding. Just depends. Um, and even when you say like the cookie cutter, they can be really Personal, fabulous. And they can personalize they them. They can too. personalize them and make them really fabulous. You do have choices. Um, but again, I'm always about the budget. I want my clients to to find something that works for them financially, location wise, school district. All of those and, things and, have and, to play and, together. And I would believe this that if it's a two paycheck household going in mm -hmm. and you're planning a family, think that you can maybe do it on one paycheck. You understand what I right, mean? Right. Don't don't depend on everything you have come no. meaning your cash flow to survive in your house. No, you will not go out to dinner, go to the mission and that is no fun for people. But if you have a nice house, you're okay. Yeah. You can sit in your house. <laughs> right. You can that, sit you, in your house people, all day. I realize that people actually do sit in their house. You know, for <laughs> twenty five years, what's this? This is a chair. Right. You know what I mean? All right. But I, I kind of enjoy it. All right, a very short break, we'll come back. Listen, please, if you have any questions, eight six six three nine one ten twenty or call her direct. You can do it now. Leave your name and number. She'll get right back to you. She's going to be out showing houses today. She'd love to help you with whatever it is. And her husband for many years in the business as well. So they have got you covered. 412-628-8286. We'll be right back. Boy, you need to make a point. Get in it's like I have to go. We're still, uh, we're still live. I know. A uh, guy called wanting to know basically what the cost of a vacant land it, a real estate takes if you're to buy the vacant land uh -huh. and then build on it uh -huh. what's the cost percentage wise that an agent takes <laughs> typically you mean what the commission is yeah, that, that something the agent like that maybe I, I he said uh, the i guess it's like six percent of a house or something or yeah that's, of house. is it the same for land it's usually set by the seller okay okay so how much the seller is paying on the commission that's how it's that's how it's set. You know, okay. like if I look up a piece of property right, and it's a uh, vacant land, let's just say it's vacant land, and um, on the uh, whoever listed that property sets the commission and it could be, you know, two thousand dollars or three percent or you know whatever the, whatever the seller's paying. So the buyer never buyer doesn't pay commission. Okay. Only the seller pays the commission. Okay. Can you answer that on the? Sure. Yeah. Some commission questions. What's that? I've got some commission questions. How do we get paid? That's a good question. That is a good question. When your check doesn't bounce, that's <laughs> we don't like that. I can always tell when Rob's talking about himself. Yeah. Just sitting in the house. I tell you, I love it, man. I want to do more of it. I never did, guys. Listen, I, love I, got up, I got up in the dark. I went home in the dark. I never sat on the couch. I never sat on chair. I never showered in my house for seven years. Where did you shower? I had offices everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I was on the go. I don't want to do it. No. no. That's exhausting. I can't even like tonight, think about that. That's the one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I'll save this one for another day. Yeah. I, I got too much on my plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I need I need downtime. We all do. Yeah, I mean, Very what important. you guys did. Yeah. Listen, Thanksgiving, I didn't see nobody, didn't talk to nobody. What'd you my, eat? Nothing. I, 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 got, I, got, I think I got some ham salad at Coons. And I just sat in my house. I did a bunch of work at home, shot videos, went and paid respect to one of my first mentors who died. Aw. And I'm, it's good. Yeah. Listen, life goes on. It does. Christmas Eve, I'm doing the same thing. Christmas Day, I'm doing the same thing. Well, that's what I like to do on Christmas Day. Nothing. Yeah, exactly right. That's what we Zero. Do. We do nothing. We do nothing. And then we look at each other and say, it doesn't really feel like Christmas. Every year, we do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, thing. It's true. It doesn't Listen, really feel like Christmas. My kids, I see, I talk to, but they're grown now. So you know what? Yeah. they they got a young heart. Mine kind of goes, whoop, whoop. So I want to enjoy what I got yes. left before it goes, <laughs> <laughs> You know, you worry about them. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. You know. They're busy. They have things to do. These are the people who make Pittsburgh work. All right. We're back. This is broken. I'm sorry. I don't know what the problem is. All right, listen, we do have a call coming in. So if you have a call for us and you want to join us in the studio, 866-391-1020, Dollar Bank, Instant Access, KDK.com. But our producer got a call about someone asking a very, I think, important question. How do you get paid? How do I get paid? Well... 
when I when uh, agents go on listing appointments, they negotiate the commission structure with the seller. Once that's set, that's what goes into the multi list, and the seller has agreed to pay a percentage or a flat dollar fee to the buyer, the buyer's agent, who brings the buyer. So the buyer in, in, in a real estate transaction, unless it's a for sale by owner, and most of the time I can negotiate a commission out of that for sale by owner, but the seller pays the commission to both the listing agent and the buyer's agent. Mm -hmm. So buyers do not pay commission. If you're buying a piece of property, buying a piece of land, you are not paying commission. What you are paying, and most people don't know this, is a broker fee. Every broker has what's called a broker fee. It's an admin fee, and every broker has one. So you're paying the uh, company, and in my case, Coldwell Banker, we have a broker fee. Whether you're the buyer or the seller, you're paying a broker fee directly to Coldwell Banker at the time of closing. So those are the only commission-related fees that a buyer has to worry about, and they're set, and um, it's all in your in your contract. So it's not a surprise. When you say when you say surprise, I don't like surprises. I know, unless it's a gift. But but <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Diamonds. Really? <laughs> that's a good surprise. Yeah, that's a good surprise. <laughs> Little beachfront property. Next right. to, the president wouldn't be a bad thing in Palm Beach. But no, I, isn't that a beautiful piece of real estate down there? Oh, I, mean, my. I was there, I mean, Ooh. another lifetime, but beautiful. It, did, now, do they approach it any differently in places that are resort areas when it comes to real estate? Well, some of these properties, Rob, are 30 $40 million. So you sell one, you You're sit on the beach for the rest of the year. That's right. <laughs> you just got to sell one. But I don't know what the commission structures are. In, in Palm Beach. So when you show a house, you start on a Wednesday and you finish on a Friday. Right. Is that what I'm saying? Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, just three more rooms. We'll be done. Right. <laughs> I mean, is, is the approach it different? It would take like three days to get through some of these houses. I'm not kidding. Yeah, when you see an agent with a golf cart like hooked onto the back of the... Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah, that's not your typical real estate agent, though. I mean, if you, if, when your husband and you were down there, and I was there in 1976, so it's been a long time, okay? But... Did, I remember going like the Barber Post, Post Serial Compound, the Kennedy Compound. Uh -huh. Kind of modest, nice, whatever. But then you'd see a Rolls Royce from 1927 with like, you know, wooden paneling. Yes. I mean, I mean, there's wealth down there. You know, Worthing, what was it? Worth Wor Avenue. Worth Avenue. I mean, the great Edward G. Robinson lived down there. I mean, there's a lot of history there. Yes. My question is, do they, you think these people do transactions, even if it is 30 million or what it was back in the day, just like we're doing 150,000, to yeah. them, do they approach it the same way? I think so. I, I, I really do. I 2 mean, is a little bit more than what we're spending, but but it's got to be almost the same, right? I, I would have to think so. You know who would know is my dad. Has he ever done that down there? No. <laughs> I mean, no, you, but seriously. He's, he's got his finger on everything. You know, he knows what's going on. Does he? <laughs> he sure does. But but that that to me that would be like really an overwhelming responsibility. I think it would a, be a real estate and, professional. Well, man. and marketing these houses can no, not be any <coughs> easy task. They they have to be marketed, you know, all over the world. Target. Uh, not everybody has that kind of money. And. If you were dealing with our president, who I have a lot of respect for, he made his money in real estate. Yes. So you're not doing something without him saying, I don't think so. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Well, most real estate, of these yes, it has always been the greatest investment. Well, yeah. And, I mean, and I think it always will be. And, and, and I think, you know, people that are doing it here, it's just, you have to understand, even us on a much lo lo smaller scale, when you're a homeowner, that really puts you at another level. Yes, it does. It's the American dream, and everybody should have it. You know, there's nothing better than standing on your porch on any day or night, and you look at the mailbox, and it's like your mailbox. Your mailbox with your mail in it. Yeah, I mean, you know what yeah. I mean? And it's, and it's something I think we all achieve, and, and that's why i got to believe what you do is so rewarding and why you're so passionate and why you love it so I much. am, I, and I do love it every day. And uh, now after a week of, of real, true rest, be, thanks to my assistant, Aaron, who just, I mean, killed it while I was gone. You need to bring her in here. I the way, am going to bring her in. About she's, it, she's just like great. She is wonderful. Um, I was able to really be on vacation, and I rested, and I, 
I do handle business while I'm gone. But How do you, like, let it go? It's I mean, not easy. No. I'm, no, I'm a work in progress, Rob. I, <laughs> I love to work. And that's part of the reason why I do what I do is I just, I like to be busy. But I love I don't, to work. I, but I, honestly, I see the passion that you two have, you and your husband, and it's not about the money. I mean, I actually think you really like... No, it's like, about the people. I mean, your money's nice, and you, but you've made some money in your day. Yeah. But you just like getting the deal done. I do. It's the art of the deal. It, it is the art of the deal, and I love, um, I love the people. I love my clients. And you know, it's amazing when they find out that they have the home, especially those young couples. We all remember that brief fleeting moment when we actually like, oh, you actually like me? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that, that they actually go into that home and how good they feel and You're their so future is so bright. That first so night happy. in that house and, you know, a bottle of wine by the fireplace. Yeah. You're just thinking, we did it. Yes. You know? that's, a, that's a huge accomplishment. And it is a big deal to buy a house. Hmm. Whether it's your first house or your fifth house or your eighth house. It's always a big deal. You know times have changed when you have that bottle of wine and you fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> times are changing, folks. All right, uh, um, again, please, if you have anything, give her a call, 412-628-8286. Okay, spring market February. Just a, a quick list. We've got a couple of minutes here, but people can start planning if they're going to sell their house. And more importantly, I highly urge, if you are thinking of selling and you're in this immediate area, she's out of Murraysville, she travels obviously, but in the immediate area, 412-628-8286. What should be on that list, do you think? I think you should have your areas uh, narrowed down where you wanna be. I want you to have your pre-approval in place if you're buying, if you're selling, start packing. <laughs> start, you know, start narrowing down what you have in your house get it organized get one of them big dumpsters in the front get a of your big house. dumpster start, go up on the roof and yeah. just throw it into the dumpster <laughs> yeah. you know and, and, and you know what that's that's that, in a way it's it's a cleansing it it makes a lot of people feel really good even just getting rid of some things that have just clogged up your space for a long time use your garage as a little storage area um it's easier in the summertime than it is in the winter. Just but. out of curiosity, because you've been in this business so long, what do you think you can tell people? Because I'm really on point as far as, I don't need that. Get rid of it. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. That's not coming in this house. I'm getting better. I don't like clutter. I can't stand clutter. I've never liked clutter. What do you tell people? Here you're going into a new house. Uh -huh. With all due respect, it's beautiful. Don't mess it up by cluttering it up. I mean, have you ever, if somebody's asked you that advice? Well, I... I I say if you don't love it, don't take it with you. If you don't use it, if you haven't used it in two years, get rid of it. See, this is how I approach life because I remember when my parents died. What is it, two minutes for you? Yeah. I don't love it. <laughs> Throw no, it away. No, usually that's what they were saying. <laughs> but no, seriously, here's the thing. I remember when my parents died. My mom was the second to go. The cleaning of the house. I had five sisters it was kind of like coyotes came in and it was yes. gone. You know what I mean? Because yes. they want to get stuff done. I don't want my kids to be sitting around my dining room table six hours later going through the junk drawer. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I want them to be able to go, okay, here's the last will and testament. Good deal. Let's have a drink. Everybody go. You know what I'm saying? I don't <laughs> in want a perfect clutter. world. But in you know what? I'm, I'm really looking to that point. Every day I, I go, no, I don't want my kids having to deal with all that. Because I remember what that was like. As much as those little trinkets are nice... When you get down to that third floor of that crawl space and mm -hmm. you're bringing out stuff with mold on it and you find that Christmas card that you got in 1965, right. that ain't a good thing. Some people have a different attachment, you know, at different levels of, of sentiment yeah. for things. Yeah. And uh, I'm kind of like you. I don't like a lot of clutter. I don't but, want my kids dealing with that. Right. And, and a lot of people don't think like that. They're thinking immediate and not in the future. When do you think that really starts in your life when you just start saving like every doily? I don't know. <laughs> newspapers don't know. from like three years ago. I don't I don't know. I I'm a pitcher. I like you know, I like things orderly. But there are some weird things that that I hang on to. Like I every time I go to a hotel and don't ask me why Towels. No, I don't take the towels, but I take all the toiletries. That's okay. The you never soap, know. the toothpaste, the shampoo. I have a whole bucket of like shampoo that I don't really need, but I can't get rid of it. Well, one thing I will say, this is some good real estate advice. If you're going to sell your house and you've got clutter and you know it, get rid of get it. Get rid of it. We'll be back.
Oh. No, I, that to me. I know, and you know what, Mom? I, my, listen, when my mom, God rest her soul, that stuff that mill do is old, you know. It just drives you My down. mother was better than that. You know what happened? She got, she couldn't see anymore. Yeah. My mother, <coughs> I look at black and white pictures when we were kids. <coughs> And I go, what's that shining on the wall? My mother cleaned the house to where it was like you could see your face mm -hmm. on the woodwork. And when she got old, she couldn't see anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and she just, she couldn't, she couldn't do it. So it's just, I, I, I keep thinking that. I don't want my kids to go through yeah, that. Yeah, you know? I think a lot of people do think like that. And then there are other people... You know, I've sold border houses where people have died and their kids come in from all, you know, I know what. from here and there and, and listen, everywhere and they walk in and they're like, oh my listen, goodness. Listen, it, it can get very ugly. Yeah. And it's sad. It is sad. It is really sad. Um, but yeah, it's, it, everybody's different and that's kind the of how you thing, have to go into it. The only thing I regret, I had all those trains, those beautiful trains, and they're just destroyed. You know? Yeah. And I was immaculate about that. And that would have been a good, it's, they're still going to, my kids are still going to make out, but you know, I, I don't, that, that's, that's hard, that's hard to take. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't even want to see them anymore, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard to take. Yeah, she's not lying about that uh, toiletries thing. I have a you know, got, that, we got more it, shampoo you know in our house happen, than I know One what night you'll have no shampoo and you're right. like, what the hell happened to my yeah. stash? You yeah. threw it out. But yeah. yeah. That's, that was me. I would throw it out the night before there was this much shampoo. <laughs> you, know what, you know what else she hoards is? This is it's a, it's a, it's a, a small thing and very, very what short. Is it? Coffee. Oh. She'll, she'll leave a cup of coffee on the counter that's three quarters full. And she'll reheat it at 10 o'clock that night. Uh, I've done that. Yeah. I sometimes, like, when I'm tired, I'll stop at McDonald's at 12 o'clock and have it in the refrigerator and just take it out and eat my kid. Yeah, the there you go. Right here, Rob. I know. I do it. I yep. can't help it. <laughs> Listen, I was painting in my basement the other day. I had, I had like an hour to do nothing. I said, I'll just start painting. I'm like, I'm done. I said, this is getting to the point. I'm broke and I'm old, but I'm not starting to fix my house. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing it. All right, listen, before we go, let's kind of go over some things again. Let's start thinking spring market. Let's start thinking of better days. So tell the audience again what they need to know. Go ahead. Uh, if, you're, if you're thinking about buying in the spring, uh, call me. I'll get you hooked up with your uh, pre-approval, set you on the right path to buy a house that is affordable and fabulous. And if you're thinking of selling, call me. Please I'll, call. Please call. I'll come over. And um, it's very casual. Um, and I'll come over, talk with you about how to best get your house ready for the least amount of money. And it's free. And it's totally free. 412-628-8286, 412-628-8286, Pittsburgh Property Diva, her and her husband Chris, wishing you all a very happy holiday season. When you're thinking real estate, think Lauren Klein, think Coldwell Banker. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. No. Seriously. Nice. Thank you. Okay, guys. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. No. Seriously. I still